What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to take this right here, pile of parts, and turn it into this. So the first part of the build is actually laying out where you want your speakers to go. So I've already removed the sticker from this box. Some are harder than others to remove. And I've left the foam in here and we'll get to that in a moment. So I'm going to be using a hole saw for this, but you could easily use a jigsaw. The most important part is knowing where your drill bit needs to go. So I've been doing this quite a while, so I've got it pretty much laid out. So I'll find the center point or rough center point of this rib right here. And then I'll come right about an inch. So I'm going to be right about there. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to come about an inch over. And those will be my center holes for my hole saw. And to give you all a reference, it's going to be roughly about an inch and a half from the bottom of this rib. And it's going to be one inch from the side of this rib. So from here, from the inside, over one inch, and an inch and a half from this side up. Now, depending on the speakers, will depend on what hole size bit you actually need. So I'm not going to go over that. It could be three, uh, four and three quarters. It could be five and a quarter, five and three quarters, six. You know, it just depends on what speakers you're using. And once you start building these, you'll learn that a lot of the speakers actually take the same hole saw. I'm going to go ahead and line these up. I'm going to start going forward. And then I'm going to go reverse. Just like that. And I'll just leave that mark right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, there's a reason we're going in reverse. If we don't go in reverse, it's going to grab this box and sling it around. So, enjoy the time lapse while I cut these out. Okay, so now that I have the holes cut initially, you can see where the speakers are going to lie. I can go ahead and pop my foam out really quick. We'll get to that in just a second. But we can test fit our speakers just to make sure that they're going to fit in just fine. And they do. So now I'm going to put the foam back in, and you're probably thinking, why? Well, I'll show you why. I like to keep the foam in the top. So what I'm going to do is actually take the hole saw bit and I'm going to run it back through in reverse on the foam. And that will cut out a perfect hole. All right, here we go. Voila. Just like that. Now I can go ahead and remove my hole saw bit, and I'm done with that for now. Now we can go ahead and open up the box. We can remove this piece of foam, store it to the side. And if you're shipping your boxes, you're gonna to wanna to keep all the material, but if not, you're only gonna need some of it back in. So now we have the holes cut for the box, for the speakers. And we can see where they lay and how they look. That looks really good, doesn't it? So the next part is actually marking your holes for where you're going to mount the speakers. So you just want to make sure you line up your speakers. And then depending on what hardware you're going to use will depend on what size drill bit you need. And some people like to use screws. So if you don't want to use any type of... Uh, nuts and bolts you could use screws and that will suffice just fine on this particular build i'm actually just going to drill a pilot hole for my hardware right here and wrong one 
So just like that. And then You gotta make sure it's lined up. Because if not, you do what I just did. I completely missed where I had drilled the hole. So I gotta line it up just like that. Hey, we're gonna leave the bloopers in this video. Why not? Even though I've been doing it a long time, accidents still happen. There we go. Probably ain't gonna. Why didn't I just drill them all? Because I've had it where it will slightly move and then the holes won't line up very good. So I'll drill the first one. That'll hold the box down. And then I can drill the rest. Because I'm actually not gonna melt the speakers just yet. And that one there, see how it moved? So now I need to put a screw in it or bolt. I like using bolts, just personal preference. So I'll go ahead and line it up with the bolt so I can drill that last hole out. All right. Now I'll go ahead and drill this one. And I'm not gonna melt the speakers yet and you'll see why in just a second. I really hate this drill adapter end I have. Now I know why I was on clearance. It doesn't hold the bits at all. And my other one's inside. All right, so those are drilled, ready to go. All right. So that's part one, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video, and we'll head over to part two. Check the description to find all the parts of this video.